Hello everyone, this is Dirty Gingy here, and for the week of June 12th through the 18th, this is Mech News Weekly, your weekly wrap-up of mechanical keyboard news. All topics discussed will be linked in the description below. Let's we'll start off strong with group buys. Glove and Domaki are back at it with Adventure, a Legend of Zelda themed cap set. It includes double and triple shot legends and has custom artisan available, as well as clear re-legendables. Two different desk mats, plus novelties and a space bar kit. GMK Coral is back for round two. The group I will be running from the 22nd of June through July 15th. Kitting includes a base kit, alternate base kit, novelties, and space bars. I also have a very oddly nostalgic desk mat. GMK Arabian Sea is now live. The group I launched June 15th and will run through July 15th. Featuring extensive kitting, a very solid base kit, a numpad kit, space bars, 40s, novelties, and the Norduck style international kit. The base kit is priced at 125 US dollars. There's also a desk mat and Hebe Artisan available. Get ready! You have five days to make your wallet bleed. The group I for 10 at 70 will be open from June 20th through the 25th, and there are tons of options and colorways, with pricing ranging from 425 US dollars for the cheapest solder build to 722 US dollars for the most over-the-top hot swap style build. If you're looking for a really good budget 60% gasket mount, Han 60's got you. It's an aluminum gasket mount aimed at the budget market with very solid features. It's a solder only build though, but it does feature QMK and VIA support with a standard AIO3 simplified daughter board. Plate options include polycarbonate, FR4, and aluminum. It is available in four colors, including black, gray, blue, and rose gold. Bask in the vintage vibes and soak in GMK classic beige. It's back again and features an all-in-one style base kit starting at 125 US dollars. And this is actually an amazing buy as it includes numpad, full Alice support, and Windows lock keys. There's also the option of Hangul Sublegend Alphas, four different desk mats, and a Hebe Artisan. Brazen Studios is to release the latest version of the Mason 60. The Zen series is made of a cast resin cement composite and is acid etched to reveal the minerals. Every single one of them is handcrafted and it looks like various stone composites. It should fit most GH60 style PCBs and does feature tray mounting, but with standoffs and O-rings that are designed to help dampen it so it doesn't feel as stiff. There's a cork liner on the bottom of the case for grip and additional dampening. It also features optional EVA foam or a cork case dampener. There's also matching wrist rests available as well. The Group I starts on the 22nd of June and will run to the 14th of July. The Group I is a first come first serve basis, 50 units only. Wrist rests are included as part of that 50 unit limit as part of the case purchase. Moving on swiftly to interest checks. If you liked the Class 65, I think you're gonna like the Class 80. MM Studio is following up on the strong design language of the Class 65 with a TKL focused on capturing the nostalgia of the original Famicom system. It's a massive aluminum board with a weight of 3.5 kilograms unbuilt, featuring a 7 degree typing angle with a cherry lip style chin. It does feature Winky and Winkyless layouts. There's also optional matching keycaps available. Estimated price for the wired version is 385 US dollars and a wireless version for 415 US dollars. Interested in a custom aluminum case for HHKBs? Brought to you by Sho, who's already working on a similar concept with their Real Force case project. It's designed to work with the HHKB Pro 2 and Pro 2 Type S. It's a top mounted case with a front height of 17.5 millimeters and a typing angle of 7 degrees. It's back. It's actually back. If you've been waiting for it, GMK Handar Beige is actually coming back and the group buy will start on August 25th. The base kit is nearly an all-in-one kit and offers a few extension kits. It has windowed lock keys. It offers an Efro kit that is front double shot and is re-legendable on top. Firehound is trying to modernize Alps Bigfoot boards with a new PCB. It supports several layouts. Wind Keyless ANSI, ISO with 7U, possibly Sangon, the 101W style layout with the 1.25U modifiers and 6.25U space, and it also supports the 106 key JIS layout. It has support for several different microcontrollers, and there's more documentation about that in the interest check itself. I encourage you to look if you're a vintage keyboard collector. Wu Chui Studios is going all in with the Promise 87. This is a new flavor of Overkill with three different versions of a WinKeyless TKL, though they have mentioned they're considering doing a WinKey version based off of user feedback. The board features PVD gold accents and even a Moissanite gem accent on the highest end version. The bottom weight is split into two parts and is intended to be two-toned. There are three different material finishes you can do with that. They're aiming to offer nine different case colors. Honestly, this board looks like it's going to be 
insane. Pricing for the Promise 87 starts at $500 for the base version, $800 for the version with gold accents, and $900 for the version with the Moissanite gem. PBT Fans is coming in strong with a vintage style set. PBT Fans Retro is bringing back that retro vibe with super good kitting, offering two base kits with text and icon mods for one, or icon only mods for the other. It has two different color based add on kits for CMYK or RGBYK. 40s kit is available, international kitting, and of course, space bars. This one's looking pretty good. Archetype Type is redefining over-engineered with Minerva. It's a 60% plus macro column board with more colorways than a pack of Crayola crayons. With a front height of 18 millimeters and a typing angle of 5.5 degrees, the starting price at $500 does sound steep, but the more you look into this board, it honestly looks like it's trying to offer everything it can in a small form factor. The current lead time estimate is quarter one of 2023, and there's honestly so much to read up about this board that I encourage you to check the interest check in the description. There's a sweet treat ahead with Milky Way Mango Key Lime, offering a well-priced base kit with extensive kitting, charming colors, Good quality die sub. The base kit starts at 90 US dollars and expect a fast manufacturing cycle on this. You won't see a GMK style weight. From a new designer, this is the Mir 70. Featuring a front height of 19.8 millimeters and a six degree typing angle, case materials are anodized aluminum. It offers a standard thickness plate at about 1.5 millimeters, featuring aluminum, carbon fiber, and potentially some others. The weight is a mirror polished stainless steel featuring laser engraving. Overall weight is 2.2 kilograms and features magnetic levitation mounting. It's been a bit of a meme, but it looks like they're going all in on it and trying to do it right. PCBs feature solder or hot swap and colors for the board feature white, black, and gray but they're aiming for four to five different colors at least. Tumble Caps is finally going to release their first set, Fairy Type. It's inspired by the colors of the Pokemon Sylveon and does feature some thematic novelties in the kit. It's an all-in-one set with full support for most layouts and Alice slash Arisu. The set itself is 80 US dollars, but has a limit of 40 units. Pre-order date is currently to be decided. They do estimate that stock should arrive in October of this year. For some general news, Stabies V2 has dropped at a vendor near you. This is a fix and full launch for Stabies. The stems have been reduced in size, so no more cracking of keycaps. The rest of the tweaks are just minor tolerance changes to reduce binding. If you're finding this information useful, why not drop a like and also subscribe to stay informed. If you do think I've missed something, then please mention it in the comments below and I'll try and pin the comment. In Switch announcements, we have the Jelly Switch by Natural Pride Studio, currently set to be a China-only group buy. It is a linear long pole with a 3.8mm travel, a 22mm spring with a 65 gram bottom out, and the pretty standard housing materials of top house polycarbonate, bottom nylon, and a palm stem. The manufacturer is currently unspecified, but it is highly suspected to be Haimu. For in-stock extras, Kono currently has extras for GMK 9s and GMK Retrocast. Mr. Esmos Mao is back in the news with Doom Switches. Pre-orders opened on June 16th. It's a tactile switch with a rather unique top housing material of high density polyethylene. The bottom housing is PA6 nylon with a palm long pull stem that is 13.8 millimeters. The spring is 63.5 grams, two stage, 18 millimeters. No factory lube and the manufacturer is Merun. Now currently in stock, Anyway, I want to thank you for watching, subscribe to stay in the loop, and I'll see you next week.